What's wrong with giving it a try? But it's a useless complication. That's what's wrong with it. And besides that, it's dangerous. If I had my way, I'd have the goddamn thing prohibited by law. Oh, I hope you, you aren't leaving. We haven't finished our card game. Just don't slam the door. He does it every time. My friend Edison's a stubborn man, Tesla. He's also the greatest inventor in the history of the world. And if you can prove him wrong just once, I won't say I'll be happy. But I'll tell you this. You and I are in business. Incredible things are happening, Nick. Edison has had to join up with General Electric, but they won't swallow us up, Nick. We'll swallow them. We've got the patents, Nick. The Niagara Project can't be started without us. Do you realize that it's quite possible to get 100,000 or even a million electrical impulses per second? Can't you see what... Fantastic possibilities that could open to us for the use of energy. Nick, did you hear what I said about General Electric, about Edison, about Niagara? I know what Morgan told me. Don't listen to him, Nick. He plays with people like the child playing with dolls, and he breaks them like dolls. To hell with Morgan. A million electrical impulses per second. <laughs> All right, Nick. All right. <laughs> Dream as much as you want to. But just be sure you wake up in time for the opening of the power station. After that, just let somebody try to stop you. George, how could anything stop me? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I don't have an answer for that. All the same... For a man who's that damn sure of himself, you don't look very happy. How can I be? George. What's wrong, Nick? For several days now, I've been seeing pictures. Would you please ring up Mr. Tesla? It's very urgent. I have to see him immediately. I cannot disturb him. If I wake him now, I will hold you responsible, Mr. Zito. Nothing can save it. I guess we may as well let him sleep in peace while he still can. I'll tell him later. Can I ask what the trouble is, Mr. Zito? After all, this hotel's at home. It'll break Mr. Tesla's heart. His laboratory's on fire. It's going to be completely burned. All his work will be gone. His inventions, his equipment, his plans, everything up in smoke.
Ladies and gentlemen, America has today put into operation her first electric power station generating alternating current. We must thank all those who have helped to create this power station. However, ladies and gentlemen, we should not forget that without Nikola Tesla, the great visionary and inventor, none of this would exist. The celebration I've been waiting for. Bravo, Nick. Bravo. <laughs> we'll speak to them, Nick. Your audience is waiting. When all is said and done, this power station is not terribly important. It simply makes practical use of theories we have long known about. Rather than congratulate ourselves, we should all feel ashamed that it was not built earlier. The real work is yet to come. Now we draw a distance. Our senses tell us about things that are close by. To know what is happening far away, we must be able to transmit scenes from other places over long distances. Pictures, the news, energy, and why not matter too? Now we must liberate thought. We must set it free of limitations that space and time impose on it and yet keep its principal characteristics. Now and in future centuries, here on Earth and thousands of light years into the unknown. Excuse me, please, I... I'm going to Europe. Europe? Who's in Europe? My mother and sister. 